Hello everyone and welcome to this video of the course robotics. In the very first video of the course robotics, we'll be discussing about introduction to robotics and intelligent systems. The content that we'll be covering in this video includes introduction to robotics, types of robots, autonomous robot, autonomous vehicles and self-driving cars, some context to different applications in robotics, some idea about architecture of robotics and the concept of self-driving car as well. So let's get started with this video. The very first thing, definition of robotics. Or we can say what is robot exactly. So the very first answer would be robot is a machine or an agent. It could be a software agent, it could be a hardware agent or a machine which can perform a variety of tasks in an intelligent way as humans do. According to Stuart Russell and Peter Novick, a robot is an active artificial agent whose environment is the physical world. It means an active artificial creature or you can say machine or algorithm which can interact with the physical environment, physical world. According to Robot Institute of America, the definition of robot is a programmable multifunctional manipulator designed to move materials, parts, tools or specific devices through variable programmed motions for the performance of a variety of tasks. It means a machine which performs a variety of tasks, a machine which is programmable, which is multifunctional, which can be used in different case of uses and which can handle some materials, parts, tools or specific devices by just changing the programming. And by just changing a programming, it can be used for performing a variety of tasks. Talking about robots and applications of robot many and types of robots. So there are various types of robots you might find. One of them is could be robotic manipulator, some mobile robots, some stationary robots, some industrial robot, some domestic robots, some educational robots. Every other robot or the system or the machine is uh, designed to perform specific tasks, to perform specific actions. For example, robot manipulators or end effectors could be used to handle the object, lift the object, pick and place the object. Another good robot type of robot is like mobile robot which can move from one place to another place which could be generally used for surveillance, security. It could also be used for finding some objects. It could be also be used for domestic stuff. Robots are also used for domestic robots, servant robots solar robots, search robots, Mars rover robots, space rover robots. So these are all type of mobile robots which can move from one location to another location. They are can move using the legged locomotion or wheeled locomotion, any kind of locomotion they perform, they use and they can move from one place. To quadcopter picking please can also be called as one type of mobile robots as well. Talking about types of robotics, industrial use cases. So there are various industrial robots which are stationary robots which are used for a lot of variety of tasks and the same set of robots or machines can be pre-programmed to perform variety of tasks like material handling, picking, placing object or capping, fitting, analyzing objects and uh, creating a structure of objects, welding purposes, inspection of quality testing, quality checking, analyzing the objects, analyzing the system, improving productivity, they can be used for qualitative work production and qualitative mass production with a very quantitative production in terms of speed in terms of rate of production and industry use cases robots are also used for laboratory applications like uh, analyzing quality testing checking purposes educational robots are used to teach students or professionals the basic idea of electronics, the basic idea of robotics, sensors, manipulators, actuators, programmable systems. There are some domestic robots as well or servant robots which can be divided in general into two categories. One which can perform some household tasks like cooking, cleaning, lifting, taking care of homes, guarding, security. There could be some other entertaining robot as well or you can say robotic toys as well which can do some tasks like talking, walking, dancing, performing, engaging people, receptioning. 
Journey robots are used for following task, dirty task. Dirty task is something that where humans do not uh, like to perform those tasks. For example, some drainage cleaning. In case of drainage cleaning or pipeline cleaning, underground water pipeline cleaning or handling underwater pipeline. Mobile robots, small small swarm mobile robots could be used for performing those sort of tasks. Some repetitive tasks which we perform a lot of times like industry. Packing the products, manufacturing the products, lifting the products, picking the products, placing the products. So they have a nice of task industry for mass production. Some tasks has to be done in repetitive manner and for those industrial robots could be used for different use cases. Some dangerous tasks. There can be some tasks where humans, uh, the environment might not be suitable for human creatures to live there and to work on them. In those sort of critical tasks like uh, some mining cases. Some, some lime industry cases or some industrial cases where the temperature and the pressure is so different where humans cannot survive. So in those dangerous tasks, robots are robots are very better to perform those tasks and to do monitoring, maintenance and controlling of processes. Robots are also used for assisting handicapped people or elderly people or patients. Robots can be also used to make them operate equipments at a higher precision than humans. So these are some of the applications of robots used in industry and used for different variety of tasks. And next we'll be discussing about autonomous robot and the structure of it, the working of it. Generally autonomous robot is a robot which can perform variety of tasks on its own by taking some decision by getting some perception from the environment using the senses and by using the actuators attached with that manipulating the actuators based on the sensor data and based on the algorithm or the program saved in that uh, that the programmable system of that autonomous robot the control of autonomous robot involves a number of subtasks which could be understanding and modeling of the mechanism like understanding the kinematics of robot understanding the dynamics of robot understanding the audiometry of robot the control of autonomous robot involves also the reliable control of actuators. For example, how much uh, if a motor is uh, destined, if a motor is asked to perform a precision of a 20 degree rotation, and if it is not performing that, then a few closed loop uh, control system can drive the motor in certain way so that it can minimize the error between the desired output and the actual output. So to make robots more precise in terms of output. To make them more accurate in terms of output, closed loop control is also used for reliable control of actuated systems. Like servo motor is one of the example of it. Another control of autonomous robot involves subtasks like generation of task specific motions. Like path planning is one of the example of generation of task specific motions and integration of sensors interfacing different type of sensors so that robot can understand interact with environment can work or can perform some tasks based on the environmental variables based on the environment data so it involves selection and interfacing of various types of sensors with that which could be some distance measurement sensor which could be some obstacle avoid obstacle detection sensors it could be some task specific sensors like some location specific sensor like gps and all Another type of subtask involves coping with uh, the noise and uncertainty like filtering of sensor noise and actuator uncertainty to provide, an ac provide accurate and proper output, creation of flexible control policies and for example dealing with new situation and to control new situation and flex staying flexible with new situations and unexpected situations. So those are some control subtask for autonomous robots. Next topic is requirement of a robot intelligent environment. How should a robot perform in an intelligent environment, an unconstrained set of environment? Is robot should have some capability of autonomy. The robot should be capable of achieving task objectives without human input. Without human in interaction, the robot should be able to achieve the goal set to a set to make it achieve. The robots have to be able to make and execute their own decisions based on the sense information. They should be having some algorithm which could help them to take decision based on the any autonomous, any new information they are getting from the sensors attached to those robots. Robots do need, need to have some intuitive human robot interfaces so that humans can easily interact with them. 
the use of robot in smart homes can cannot require extensive user training should be the command to the robot should be natural for inhabitants and the third requirement is adaptation robots have to be able to adjust to the changes in environment they should be adaptable to the new environment set of constraints so these are some of the requirements which are required which are expected to be there in robots to make them perform in a better way into the intelligent in set of environments. So stay tuned for further video in which we'll be discussing more about robotic architectures, actuator and sensors and uh, some batteries and robotics in next videos. Thank you for watching this video.